Mike Vale National Post No review of the new horror film Friend Request appears in the National Post. No review of the new remake of the 90s horror film Flatliners will appear either, just as, earlier in the year, no reviews could be found of the Bye Bye Man, Wish Upon or Phoenix Forgotten. It isn't that our signing editors have anything against horror movies particularly. Nor have our critics come to anticipate efforts in the genre with such dread that they can't even be bothered to take a look. The fact is, I would have been happy to write about any of the pictures mentioned above, if for no other reason than that horror tends to be a lot of fun to write about. But I was denied the opportunity. These and many other films simply didn't screen. It is Welkman that studios and distributors, as a courtesy to the critics who offer them notice, will orchestrate screenings of their upcoming movies some time in advance of their scheduled release, or else furnish them with watermarked DVDs or private links to stream these movies online. And it is equally understood that, when studios and distributors refuse to extend critics this courtesy, when an email is sent out apologizing that such and such a film will not be screened in advance, the culprit is usually fear. You'll only keep critics away from your movie if you can safely presume they'll crucify it. That a movie isn't screening for critics, therefore, is never a promising sign. How bad could friend request be, really compared to Annabelle creation or rings, I mean, to take a pair of undistinguished horror mediocrities I was privileged to review this year. Moreover, what effect could a deluge of vociferous broadsheet censure possibly have on friend requests weekend grosses of course all critics like to suppose their judgment holds influence over a film's prospective audience, and I would be pleased if an eloquent stream of vituperation in Friday's print publication actually kept my readers away from a lemon in droves. But somehow I doubt whether anyone inclined to see friend request in cinemas could be persuaded by my opinion to do anything else. Perhaps refusing to screen a bad movie for critics will briefly delay the appearance of a perilously low Rotten tomato score. Or perhaps it will hasten a film's disappearance from the popular imagination the studio knows it's made an error and would like it in and out of theaters as quietly as possible, with no volumes of excoriation on record to haunt them. They may be onto something. Anyone resolved to enjoy friend request will do so either way, and once it earns its modest sum it will promptly vanish and be forgotten. And meanwhile these pages, in common with the pages of every paper in the world, will carry no trace of it ever having been here, which means no record of how bad it was 